السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. Societal solidarity, the duty of the current time. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds, who says in his ever glorious book, Help one another to do what is right and good. Do not help one another towards sin and hostility. I bear witness that there is no God but Allah and that Muhammad is his servant and messenger. May Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, his household, companions, and upon those who follow their path to the day of judgment. Social solidarity is a noble human value that promotes coherence and compassion among human beings. This sublime value brings about stability of nations as the civilized nations are those who which have internal coherence among their members. The Prophet, peace be upon him, expressed that meaning when he said, the believers in their mutual kindness, compassion and sympathy are just like one body. When one of the limbs suffers, the whole body responds to it with wakefulness and fever. He, peace be upon him, also said, the relationship of the believer with one another Believer is like the bricks of a building. Each strengthens the other. On that meaning, a poet said, When there is a serious matter, sons unite and avoid being scattered. Spares never break when they are united, but may be easily broken once scattered. Our noble Sharia has called us to societal solidarity, though calling for competition in doing good deeds and fulfilling people's needs and relieving them under the umbrella of faithful brotherhood, generosity, and cooperation in that which benefits humans. The Almighty Allah said, Raise to do good deeds. He, glory be to Him, also said, Hurry towards your Lord's forgiveness and a garden as wide as the heavens and earth prepared for the righteous who give both in prosperity and adversity, who restrain their anger and pardon people. Allah loves, Allah loves those who do good. In another verse, Allah the Almighty said, There is no good in most of their secret talk only in commanding charity or good or reconciliation between people. To anyone who does these things, seeking to please Allah, we shall give a rich reward. Our Prophet, peace be upon him, has called and urged us for societal solidarity, saying, Whoever has an extra amount should offer it to him who is without it, and whoever has surplus food should give it to him who has nothing. The narrator of the hadith said, the Prophet, peace be upon him, continued mentioning other properties until we thought that none of us had any right to the surplus of his own property. The Prophet, peace be upon him, also gave us an example of solidarity when he praised the Ash'ari tribe, saying, When the people of Ash'ari tribe ran short of food during the holy battles, or the food of their families in Medina ran short, they would collect all their remaining food in one sheet and then distribute it among themselves equally. <clears throat> so these people are from me and I am from them. Those people were entitled for the praise from the Prophet, peace be upon him, due to the spirit of solidarity and cooperation marked with preferring others to oneself. It goes without saying that fulfilling people's needs in a national and religious value, as the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, he is not a believer whose stomach is filled while the neighbor to his side goes hungry. Our Prophet, peace be upon him, also said, the most beloved people to Allah are those who are most beneficial to people. The most beloved deed to Allah is to make a Muslim happy or to remove one of his troubles or to forgive his debt or to feed his hunger. That a walk with a brother regarding a need is more beloved to me than that I seclude myself in this mosque for a month. 
All praise is due to Allah, Lord of the worlds. May Allah's peace and blessings be upon Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, his companions and followers. It goes without saying that societal solidarity is the duty of our current time as we are approaching the month of Ramadan, the blessed month that comes with blessings and goodness. It is on this month that Muslims compete for goodness for goodness and seeking Allah's pleasure. Among the best actions to do is to help the needy, feed the poor, provide for the destitute, so that people feel assured and can perform their rituals in this month, which is full of spiritual blessings. Allah the Almighty has promised great and multiplied reward for people of goodness who give charities. Allah the Most High said, those who spend their wealth in Allah's cause are like grains of corn that produce seven ears, each bearing a hundred gains, a hundred grains. Allah gives multiple increase to whoever he wishes. He is limitless and all-knowing. Those who spend their wealth in Allah's cause and do not follow their spending with reminders of their benevolence or hurtful words will have their rewards with their Lord. No fear for them, nor will they grieve. The Almighty Allah also said, Believe in Allah and His Messenger, and give out of what He has made pass down to you. Those of you who believe and give will have a great reward. In another verse, Allah said, You who believe, give charitably from the good things you have acquired and that we have produced for you from the earth. Do not give away the bad things that you yourself would only accept with your eyes closed. Remember that Allah is self-sufficient, worthy of all praise. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Every day two angels descend, and one of them says, O Allah, compensate more to the person who gives in charity, while the other one says, O oh Allah, destroy the one who withholds charity. May Allah protect our country, Egypt, and all countries in the world.